Hello guys and welcome to another homebrew update. I'm your host Troy. With this video, it is actually going to be a very, very short video because I only have one console to talk about and that's going to be the Nintendo Switch. But before I get started, I just want to say one thing. The 5.0.0 leak that I told you about in last video was actually a fake. I actually got the information from a popular 3DS homebrew person who I follow on Twitter and he just retweeted essentially the thing. So I was like, okay. So I just kind of went on his word, but apparently it was fake and a lot of people I actually got, by, got fooled by it. The video was taken down very shortly after it was actually posted on YouTube. So, that could have been one big red flag, but oh well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started on the homebrew for the Nintendo Switch. The very first one is going to be the homebrew launcher that was released on the Switch. Uh, this is not the homebrew launcher that everyone was actually expecting. This is someone else's homebrew launcher. I think his name was KYS something I can't out. KGSYS maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I will put a link to it in the little description down there so that you can check it out. This homebrew launcher essentially just detects what all homebrew you have over the network. So it will detect it in a certain folder where you're running the Pega switch, and then it'll just kind of run it from there. Um, there is no SD card access yet. I'm hoping that when the other homebrew launcher, the one that is expected in February 1st, hopefully it will have SD card access. We really don't know yet. We haven't heard anything else other than the fact that there will be a homebrew launcher released on February 1st. Next up is gonna be one thing I actually found out about 15, 20 minutes ago. Series M, Skyries M, something like that. He posted it in a Discord chat, which I then read on a Reddit post, which I'll be linking that Reddit post in the description. He posted that he has kernel access on 3.0.2 firmware, which is amazing. And the reason why that's amazing is because the last kernel access on a firmware was known to be on 3.0. So now more firmwares are able to have kernel hacks, which is great because that lets it more for more people to be able to have it. Especially for those people who updated to 3.0.1 or got a switch that was already on 3.0.1. Now, he still did say to stay on the lowest firmware. This does not give you an excuse to update to say 3.0.2 or 0.1 to play Mario Odyssey. He still does say stay on the lower firmware and still also says that firmware version 1.0.0 is still the best firmware when it comes to hacking and things like that. So. All right, and that is it for this video, guys. Again, all the, the links will be in the description below, as well as other links to, say, my Facebook and my Twitter page and all that. If you did enjoy this video, hit that like and subscribe button, as well as that little bell icon, and I will see you all next video.